Hello people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great and taking good care of your health. I'm back with another amazing video for you all. And this time my video is different from my previous videos. I'm sure you must have read the title. My previous videos are usually about what to eat and how it can benefit you, but this is a little bit different. So are you curious to know which foods could kill you? A little spoiler here. Some of these foods are consumed by us every day. Let's begin with today's video. But before that, please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss out the awareness videos that I post. Now let's not keep you waiting and move on to the first food on our list that can be fatal. Number 1. Green Potatoes Yes, the favorite car-packed vegetable has the potential to rob the person of his life. You might wonder that I have eaten potatoes all my life and I'm fed. You are right. Not every potato is dangerous. However, you need to be aware of two types of potatoes. The first one is the green potatoes. Do not eat them. Many people cut the green part out and use the rest of the potato. You shouldn't do that because green potatoes have solanine, a poison. And if you prepare your meals from it and consume it, you can fall seriously sick. So next time when you're preparing mashed potatoes, crispy fries or veggies, make sure not to use green potatoes. The second type of potato that you shouldn't eat are sprouted potatoes. The sprouts of the potatoes contain a poison called glycoalkanoids. Now it's quite common to remove the sprouts and use the potatoes. If you do this, you should stop doing it right away. Because there is no way you could tell if the poison in the shoot has reached the potatoes or not. According to health experts, a 16 ounces of sprouted potato can make a 100 pound man sick. Just think about it, 16 ounces is what? One medium sized potato? I'm sure you wouldn't want to risk your life, right? Number 2. Raw Cashews Do you know you have been misled your entire life? Cashews are not nuts. That's right, they are seeds. Raw cashews are deadly. Their shells have anacardic acid and upon touching them, you can burn your skin. And ingesting that acid can terribly upset your stomach. Raw cashews have a huge amount of urochil which is the same chemical present in poison ivy. And if someone consumes a large number of raw cashews, it is practically a suicide. Cashews are always steamed or cooked to make them edible. Hence, if you ever see raw cashews in the woods or while traveling, do not touch them. And of course, don't even think about tasting them because it will make you seriously ill. Number 3. Kidney Beans Raw kidney beans are toxic to your health as they are loaded with phytohemagglutinin. Eating a few raw or uncooked beans can make you severely sick. It will upset your stomach, cause vomiting and make you feel nauseous. One thing that I'd like to mention here is that keep the red kidney beans away from the reach of kids, especially the curious ones who love to put everything in their mouths. Children are more prone to fall sick if they consume raw or undercooked red kidney beans. According to US FDA, red kidney beans should be soaked for at least 5 hours and then boiled for 30 minutes to eliminate the toxins. If you cook them for less than 30 minutes, you actually increase the toxic substance in the beans by 5 times. So never rush the cooking time. If you're running short, you can use canned or pre-cooked beans for your recipes. Number 4. Cherry Pits Cherries are undoubtedly delish fruit. It tastes yum and it is packed with tons of minerals and antioxidants. But cherry stones aren't amazing like cherries. In fact, they are quite lethal and eating them can result in death. Cherry stones contain hydrogen cyanide and even just 0.1 gram of it can make a 150 pound person die. And do you know how many grams of cyanide a cherry pit contains? It contains roughly 0.17 grams. And thus, when eating the cherry, you don't bite on its seed to crush it. If a person swallows one or two pits, it will be deadly for him. One more thing, it's not just a cherry pit that can harm you. Fruits like apricot, plum and peaches also have hydrogen cyanide in their pits. So educate your kids not to crush the stones as it can be dangerous for them. 
The next food item that I'll talk about will remind you of the Christmas holidays because this spice is added to a lot of foods. You're right, it's nutmeg. Nutmeg is a spice used to prepare plenty of delicacies like fruit bread, apple pies, and the famous holiday drink eggnog. Nutmeg gives the recipes a warm, sweet, and mild spicy flavor. Consuming too much of nutmeg can make you high, literally. This is because nutmeg contains the chemical meristrocine that affects our nervous system. Our body breaks down meristrocine, resulting in hallucinations, nausea, upset stomach, sweating, and increased pulse rate. The symptoms of overconsumption of nutmeg results in less than an hour or sometimes less than 30 minutes. So make sure you do not add a lot of nutmeg to your spices. Also, it is advisable not to overindulge in dishes with high nutmeg content. Up next, we'll talk about mushrooms. Mushrooms are edible fungi that adds flavor to our dishes. But not all the mushrooms out there are edible. Some mushrooms like Destroying Angel or Death Cap are quite serious about their names. That's why never, I repeat, never pick mushrooms when you're traveling or camping. As a layman, you cannot be sure if the mushroom is safe or not. Even experts have difficulty differentiating poisonous mushrooms from edible ones. Always pick up mushrooms in a supermarket and not in the wild. Your adventure of tasting new types of mushrooms has the potential to rob you of your life. Number 7. Sanakchi Sanakchi is one of the popular and traditional Korean dishes. Sanakchi is the raw baby octopus chopped into small pieces and served with soy sauce and seasoned seeds. An interesting thing about this cuisine is that it has to be eaten while the octopus is quill squirming. Though the octopus isn't alive, serving it right after chopping leaves some residual nerve activity in its tentacles. Now, what makes this dish a potential threat to life is that, since there's a nerve activity left in the tentacles, the octopus suckers remain active. This means they can easily attach themselves to the throat, resulting in choking and difficulty in breathing. So I'm sure if you visit Korea, you might pass on eating this traditional dish, right? Up next, we have number 8, apple seeds. Surprised to see this on the list? Well, viewers unlike apples, its seeds are not healthy. You'll be surprised to know that apple seeds contain cyanide. But thanks to Mother Nature, the seeds have a protective cover. So if you ingest it by mistake, the seeds will pass out from your body. However, cyanide will enter your body if you crush or chew the seeds. This shouldn't be taken lightly because even a tiny amount of cyanide can create multiple health issues for you, like increased heart rate, nausea, and even death. I suggest that you cut the apples into slices and remove the seeds before eating, so you don't have to worry about swelling or crushing the seed. Also, if your kids like too much on apples, always remove the seeds and then serve them. Number 9 is Fuku. Fuku means puffer fish in Japanese, which is a highly poisonous fish. Its liver, ovaries, and intestines have a deadly toxin. It's a neurotoxin and is 1200 times more lethal than cyanide. The puffer fish can poison 30 people and kill them. Hence, it is prepared by professional chefs. In fact, beginner chefs are trained for years before they can master the art of cooking this fish properly. Even during training, many chefs lose their lives. Therefore, this dish is strictly handled by trained and licensed chefs. Incorrect preparation of this fish can paralyze the person and eventually kill them. So, these are top 9 foods that you should be careful of, especially fugu and sanakchi. Tell me in the comments below which foods on the list surprised you. I'll be waiting to read your responses. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share it with your loved ones. I'll see you next time with another video. Till then, goodbye.